Boxing Truth here. Just want to do a little prediction video for the upcoming fight this weekend, the last Cruiserweight semifinal between Junior Dortikos and Marat Gassiev. Also, I'm going to do a little film analysis of both fighters. I'm going to talk about their strengths, their weaknesses. So I picked out two fights that I think that will present similar styles when they combat each other. So there's a reason why I picked out these two fights. They might see this type of style when they fight each other. So let's start off with Marat Gassiev and his fight against Dennis Lebedev. He's a southpaw, so Dortikos is an orthodox fighter, but he did provide some movement which I feel Marat Gassiev is going to deal with against Dortikos in their fight in Sochi, Russia this weekend. Gassiev, he's a solid fighter. He's uh, He's got a good, solid foundation when it comes to his balance. He keeps his chin tucked, so not the easiest guy to hit clean with big punches. He has good technique. He's pretty much a pressure fighter. Likes to put pressure on his opponents. Likes to trap him, get him in you know close quarters if so he can land his his big punches. He's a he's a big strong guy, very physical, a lot of brute strength. He has good power, but I wouldn't say he has great one punch knockout power. He's he's knocked out a couple of guys with 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 one shot, especially um his last opponent, Christophoff. He knocked him out in the third round with a body shot. So that was an impressive win. The, the guy never been knocked out. But the guy was a little past it. Somewhat washed. So his best wins are against much older ex experienced fighters. But not a lot left in the tank. The hunger is not there like it once was when they were younger fighters. And Murat Gassi is coming up. Now a world champion. Made a title defense. And he was the stronger, fresher, younger, hungrier guy on both occasions. He was able to break down Lebedev, knock him down in the fifth round. He was able to slowly impose his physicality and strength. He was just a bigger, stronger, younger, fresher guy. And he was able to take advantage of that in that in this situation against Lebedev. As Lebedev is trying to hang in there, hang in there with, with him in the pocket. As the fight progresses, he starts employing movement because he can't really deal with the physicality of Gassiev as the rounds progress. He starts to get fatigued and he just he can't just stay in the pocket because the strength and power of, of Gassiev is a little too much for him to hang in there in close quarters for a long period of time. But this is just the first round. Obviously, Gassiev has a little nerves. He's a... Uh, trying to close the distance get at a certain range so he can land his devastating punches he's he's a a guy that breaks you down he's not a a one punch knockout guy he can he can break you down with accumulation of punches he's a a good strong puncher but I wouldn't say he's the bigger puncher in this fight not one punch wise anyways but I would say he has a tighter defense of the two fighters he's more he's more solid with his balance I would say he has you know I would say he's a little more technically sound when it comes to on the inside, you know, being in close quarters, Joseph throws his punch as well with his technique. But he can be outboxed and he can be have he'll have trouble with some movement. But against Lebedev, he just doesn't have the range, doesn't have the length to really trouble with him with his movement because he has to get inside to land his punches. He got he's got to step into the danger zone. Against other fighters like Isaiah Thomas, you can see that that type of style can really bother Murat Gassiev. So, 
when you break b both fighters down, each guys are very different. One guy is not as experienced as the other. Dorticos has a much better pedigree, much ex more ex extensive amateur background. He's in his prime. Gassiev is barely 24 years old, so he's he's still a baby. He's still developing. He's still learning as a prize fighter. He's not at his physical peak, but he's a very big, strong, dangerous guy that that he he appears durable as well. I mean, he's got the the build, he's got the the frame that looks like it's going to take more than just one shot to to get him out of there. So, it's going to be interesting to see how Gassiev deals with Dortico's power when he gets hit because he hasn't really fought a legitimate puncher. Lebedev's a good puncher, but not as devastating, not as explosive as Dortico's. So you really don't know too much about Gassiev's chin when it comes to if he can really take a punch. But he does look like a very durable guy. I mean, he's a big, really strong, strong, strong guy with that type of body frame. He looks like he could take a punch or two. So let's check out Dortico's fight. I picked out the Kalenga fight for one reason. It was it was a great fight. A couple of reasons. And two, Kalenga has a similar style to Gassiev. He implies a a lot of pressure. He's a uh, not a bad fighter as well. He's fought at world level. He's beaten some guys. Lost to Lebedev by decision. Knocked out Kanaki, Kanaki's last opponent. And uh, he's a strong guy. He's uh, with some good power. And you see Thorticos, he's I would say he's a little faster with his hands. He can apply movement as well when he wants to. He's a very lanky, rangy guy. He can... Uh, with long arms, has a great right uppercut. He has a great right hand, period. Look at that right uppercut that he just drops Kalinga with. Flatten him. Straight. Got straight chin with uppercuts, but Kalinga actually got up. And he really gave Dortikos a, a really tough fight. I mean, Dortikos went life and death. There was times where it looked like Kalinga was going to turn the fight around. But Dortikos in this fight show a lot of character. I mean, he really had to dig deep. He had to bite down his mouthpiece. He he had to show that he had that he had the desire to win, that he had the will to win. He's a guy that likes to fight at a distance. He needs space in order to get a lot of leverage with his punches. The only, the problem is that his defense is very shaky. I'm, I don't like. The quality of his defense is not very tight. He can be hit a little too clean for my liking. He's uh he can be teed off on because he allows his opponents to do like just right there. He allows his opponents to tee off on him as well. So there's definitely a lot of holes in his in his defense. He can you can hit him with an up jab through the guard. You can wing shots at his guard as well get get it right through over the guard with an overhand right but Dortikos he's he's shown he can take a punch he's fought dangerous fighters strong fighters he's a pretty good counter puncher as well like you just saw there he has a very long straight one two dangerous power in his right hand so Gassiev has to watch out for how he sets him up with the right hand. And Gassiev's going to be coming into his wheelhouse. He's going to come forward. He's going to apply pressure. So Dortico's going to have a lot of opportunities to land that one, two, and land that right, that great right hand of his, which is powerful, fast. Dortico's is very dangerous in the first four rounds of the fight. But then he slows down a little bit, fatigues. But at least he's shown in his fights that he can take a punch. He can respond to adversity. He's gone the distance 
Well, he's gone to he's been taken to the deep waters on a couple of, of occasions. This is a very f tough fight to pick. It's not an easy pick. One guy's defense is very shaky, but he's shown character in the ring. Gassiev, he's a pressure fighter that can be outboxed, but appears to be durable. Got a good technique. It's practically a 50 50 fight. The Gassiev is a favorite because the fight is in Sochi. So he's going to have his countrymen behind him. He's uh, going to have home field advantage. I believe he's the A side in the fight. I'm not really sure though. I still have no idea who, who wins the fight, but I always want to go with my gut instinct. Before I was leaning towards Dorothy Coast. And after watching more film, seeing the holes Dorticos has in his game, that he, he can be hit very clean. Gassiev appears to be durable, but he hasn't fought any punchers. He's not the bigger puncher of the two, I don't believe. To me, Dorticos is more explosive, faster, bigger puncher, more battle-tested, has provided more answers in the ring compared to to Gassiev. We know about Dortico's heart, his chin, his desire to win a fight. Gassiev, he hasn't really provided that in his fights. Not yet. His toughest fight was Lebedev. And now Dortico's is recognized as the full WBA champion, which he should be. He won the interim strap against Kalenga and waited a long ass time to get his shot at the regular champion, Shumanov. Then Shuman abducted him, retired, then recently announced his comeback that he's coming out of retirement. So it's only right that Dorticos is recognized as the WBA champion. This is a full unification bout. The only issue I have is that the winner of the Boxing Super Series is going to have to immediately fight Lebedev, who is champion of recess, which is bullshit. He was defeated by Gassiv, but, you know, because of the loophole and, and the rules of WBA, he was able to retain the WBA title, even despite losing. But after thinking about it, and I don't like to switch when it comes to my gut instinct, so I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to pick Dortikos to win the fight, but not very confidently. It's going to be a, it, it, will, it will be a dog fight. It's going to be a really good fight. We're going to get more answers from Gassiev when it comes to his heart, his chin, his desire to win, his will to win. He's going to be going into the trenches. This is going to be a war. Gassiev's going to come forward, try to provide pressure, try to do damage, and Dortikos is going to have plenty of opportunities to land that great right hand of his. And the question is, who takes the punch better than the other fighter? And to me, I think Dortikos will land that big punch that will hurt Gassiev. He's faster, more explosive. The bigger puncher of the two, more experienced as a, in terms of his amateur background. He's in his prime. Gassiev is still developing. I just think this is Dortikos' time to win the fight and I think he'll win it in the middle to late rounds round, between eight round 8 to 10 it'll take some doing some some damaging right hands but he'll break down Gassiev and knock him out within 8 to 10 rounds and what will be a fire, fire fight a dog fight and another grueling fight for Dorticos but a fight that he'll win and move on to fight Utsik in the World Boxing Super Series final in Saudi Arabia. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the fight. Who you got? This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.